Hi, well, I've done it. Finally, I've got my own DVD. You'll all be really pleased to know. You may have seen me at some of the shows. Um, my name's Tracy, and um, I'm going to be taking you through the process of making your own cards today using certain techniques and my own range of stamps. A range of materials that we're going to be using today. Firstly, the Adirondack ink pads. These I use along with the Brayer roller. Down to personal preference really, but I've definitely found these are the best on the market. I love the colours, they last forever. I think you really get your money's worth with these. Now the other ink pads that we're going to be stamping with, these have been especially designed for detailed stamps. Again, lovely range of colours and we're going to be using these again today. The, the paints that we're going to be using are mica powders. As I say, they come in powder form. There's a box of 12 here, 12 different colours. Uh, I've got a palette here and I tend to mix them with a bit of water and a nice fine paintbrush to just paint in that detail. I'll be showing you how to use those later. I like using glitter on my cards as some of you well know. I use the Jones Tones glitter. It's a great glitter. Holographic, reflects the light, really nice and fine. And I use this with the liquid pearls. Um, this is this is lovely by itself, really nice. It's an opal finish. But for me, I use it as a kind of glue, simply because it's got a nice fine nozzle on and I can get some really tiny dots and then I sprinkle the glitter over the top. So that's great, that's really good. You get some great fairy dust with that. The roller we're going to be using today is a Speedball Brayer roller, which is a soft rubber and it works great with the Adirondack ink pads. The card that we're using now a lot of people brayer with the gloss card or satin card and that's absolutely fine. I tend to brayer with the matte card. It's totally different, gives a total different finish to it, but I love it. It's really nice and it's great for stamping on. Whereas the glossy or the satin card, I don't know about you, but when you stamp onto those, sometimes it can slide and you can't get that crisp finish. Whereas if you're stamping onto matte card, you get a really sharp image. In saying that it's a matte card, it's actually still really quite smooth. There's no texture to it. So that is really quite important. Uh, the paper well, I mean, this is just scrap paper, paper for doing the hills and the sun. You can get this from your local supermarket. It's just plain uh, photocopy paper. And the, um, the stamps that we're going to be using um, are the polymer stamps, clear, so you can see exactly where you're stamping. They just peel off. You store them on acetate and just place them down onto the perspex. And it's really that simple. Peel them off. There we go. If you want to clean them, use a baby wipe. That's it. And they, these are the products that we're going to be using today. So that's it really. The next thing we're going to be doing is the cards.